Hi and welcome to another Dialux tutorial. We're going to quickly look today at importing a plan or working on a plan, in this case from a DWG file. With Dialux started I'm just going to click on the wizard to import plan and I'm going to come up here and look for some drawings. Dialux is then going to import that drawing and here's one of my floor plans. I need to make sure the origin is the right place and I need to make sure that the x-axis goes in the right direction. So this is what Dialux is asking me to do up here, draw the origin and the x-axis. I'm just going to click down here and say yes I think this is the origin bottom left hand corner and because Dialux snaps to line points I'm just going to let it snap to the far bottom right corner. And there's my drawing loaded. It needs a scale I can look at the top just here, see that in meters it goes from 0 to about 20 meters, so I think the scale is right, but I still have to say whether I think it's in meters or millimeters. Normally building drawings should be in millimeters, so I'll choose that first. This one clearly isn't because it looks wrong. I'll come back and just choose meters, and my building is about 20 meters wide. That seems about right to me. I'm just going to click on finish. There is my drawing loaded. Uh, when the drawing loads, we come automatically into construction and plans. I have the chance to load more plans or replace some plans. It shows me what plans are already loaded. I can change the size of that image so that I can see more information, a little bit more about the drawing title. But if I hover over the drawing, I get the title anyway. Uh, a little bit more of the detail. If I have more than one drawing, it becomes useful. I can change its scale if I want to even now. I can choose to show a 2D projection of this drawing in a 3D window. I normally always click that on anyway. And then I can change the coordinate system. At this point, I'm not going to do this, but sometimes you want to move the origin around a series of drawings so that you can draw on top of it. Bear in mind that your buildings, your rooms, your luminaires will move with the origin, only really the drawing origin that changes. I can turn on and off layers. There are not many layers on this. You can see I've downloaded a drawing from freecads.com. Thank you very much, guys. But if I tick any of these boxes, the information disappears from screen. So if I've got multiple layers and too much information, I can just turn it on and off. And then one thing I would absolutely do with all your projects, it will increase the file size of your project, but it guarantees the drawing is kept in your file embed the plan in the project and this drawing image will always then be attached to your Dialux folder. You can upload new copies anytime you like, you can delete them out anytime you like, uh, but it's wise just to save a copy in case you change the drawing name or change the drawing location at some point in the future. So I have my drawing loaded. Uh, I'm simply going to start adding a building then. So I come down to site and I'm going to draw a new building. I'm just going to trace out the exterior of this building by simple left click at each corner point. And when I've finished, I right click, close polygon. Uh, you can see I've made a little bit of a mistake, so I'm just going to drag that corner point, which is a left click and hold, drag the corner point out. And now the corner point's in exactly the right place. If you make any mistakes, unlike other bits of lighting software, you just have to single left click, drag the corner points to where you want it to be, and let go. If you need to add further points, I can right click anywhere along the exterior building line and add a point. Or if I want to delete a point, I can right click over the point I want to delete and hit delete. And there's my building drawn. As soon as I've drawn a building, Dialux immediately takes me to the next icon down, which is story and building construction. And it asks me either to draw a new room, which will be one single room, and then it will finish, or I can draw a new indoor contour, which will be one single room and then it will wait for me to draw the second room and the third room and so on until I press the escape key. I'm just going to draw my first room. I'll pick on this one down here. I can use the mouse wheel just to zoom in. <coughs> and then I'm just going to click the corner points. I'm using the mouse wheel, holding down the mouse wheel to pan between each set of points. So I can still navigate around the room can't see that exactly, so I'm just going to zoom in and pick that. See it's a circle on that uh, wall, but I'm going to add that in a little bit later. I finished a room, I right click and close polygon. It's no longer waiting for any inputs, but if we look in three dimensions, I have my first room drawn. Go to display settings and turn on room names. 
and you can see it. Back in two dimensions, I can then come and add additional rooms. And it's as simple as that to start drawing from an AutoCAD drawing. And if you load up all three floor plans, given a little bit of time and effort, you can end up with a model of Villa Savoy that looks a little bit like this and is ready to add the lighting. If you like the content and want some more, hit the like and subscribe button. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to join an online dialogues course, give me a shout too.